What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another Farming Simulator video. And in today's video, we are back on the Wisconsin-Illinois border map. This is my single player map, it's the Seasons map. And right now, it is currently the second day, it is mid-spring. Uh, we got one more day till spring's done. I had to fast forward to the first day because uh, my files got a little weird with everything. But we got spring here now, winter is over, thankfully, even though it's just hitting for us in real life. But um, I think all the snow is almost gone. There might be a few patches of thicker snow over there, maybe. Um, I think it all might have just went away because I was fast forwarding and trying to get it all out of the way because it's spring. I was finally able to dig this guy out of the snow. Uh, snow was too deep and these were kept hitting, so it was trying to plow the snow. Um, and I couldn't, I couldn't move this thing for the longest time, but now we got it. Um, so we are going to take this guy and drive it back. Uh, let's see, which way should I take? Let's just go this way. This will be fine. All right, so we're going to bring this guy... Oh, wait. No, let's go around. Because we need to bring this to our field anyway. So we're going to bring this guy back to our field. And then we're going to set this guy down, start plowing. And then once this guy finishes his first row or two, uh, we will then send in our cultivator right behind him on the 80-20. Uh, and then while those guys are working, I'm going to go pick up another 80-20. Uh, I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. The new 80-20s are looking pretty good this time, so... All right, so we're just on our way back. Uh, we're just gonna go back to our field now. This guy takes forever to move, so that's why I kind of just cut that little short route there. Um, but here we are, just chugging along, taking forever. Actually, I think I'm gonna go into first person for most of this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do cultivator, and then we're gonna do, or we're gonna do plow, and then cultivator. Um, and then if we have enough time, I might use one of our new 8020s, uh, and we're gonna snag that guy up to, what is that? Is there a yellow dot in the center of that field over there on 48 that is weird i don't know what that means but we're gonna uh, get one of our 8020s and hook up to our i think it's our disc ripper or our 7820 pl uh planter and we're gonna get that guy going uh so then we'll have all three things going on both of these fields um i think i might oh that's that still feel so I'm, i might get rid of the grass i had planted for last season if it's not dead already, I think it's still good. Um, but I might get rid of that grass and switch over, buy another smaller field and switch that one to grass instead so I can use that whole one for uh, soybeans. And I think I was gonna do canola for the next one. Um, that's what I'm probably gonna do, but I'm gonna start on this first field. I thought the guy's gonna pull right in front of me. We're gonna start on this first field here, uh, field one, and then let me open up this. Field one and two. And then we're going to branch out and buy one of these other, or two of these other fields, because we got $1.1 million. And if you guys didn't notice, our seasons, we have, I have changed them. Um, we're doing three day long seasons now, so that's why we are already halfway through our first season of spring. Uh, it's nine in the morning on our second day, mid-spring, which isn't a big deal. Uh, it'll be a lot easier for us. It'll be a lot, I don't know, well, quicker. Everything will progress a lot quicker. Let's see, let's unfold we don't want it to lower yet uh we'll see i think this lines up with exactly the thickness of a 4955 who actually let's allow it to create fields also if we allow it to create fields also then we'll be we will be able to fix this little mess up over here it's so like i don't know why this is here i need just need to take a new uh, route and go wreck around. I don't know why this is here, but I think when they when they put the fields in the game, they like etched this one out a little weirder than the other one. Um, or at least this edge. So this edge is a little screwed up here, and I'll have to plow this manually myself, which isn't a too big of a deal. Uh, we're gonna try and keep it even as we can. So we're gonna come up to the edge here. Uh, drop it. All right, we're gonna make sure we're hitting the inside edge there, so there's no green left. All right, there you go, looks good to me. I'll hop in first person mode. All right, there we go. So all we gotta do is, once we finish this, we can then we can change it back to uh, fields only, or to not create fields, I mean. Ooh, what are we missing a little bit? Um, let me get back out of this view. Looks like I keep I keep altering it. Let's see. I just need to set a good straight line. There you go. Stick with that line. Oh, yeah. We're going to hit this anyways. It doesn't really matter. All right. As you can see up there, we got the cultivator ready and waiting for us. So we'll get the cultivator down too. 
Uh, we technically don't. I don't think we need to cultivate after we plow. Um, oh, do we actually? I, actually, I don't think we do. I might not then. But I do have to plow all this. No, I think I need to cultivate. I think I still need to cultivate. Um, all right, so now we are going to change this to fields only. Hire ourselves a good old worker out. I wonder if you could hire... I don't think you can hire a worker to create fields for you, because I think it would just... You'd just shred it up. All right. There we go. Um, oh, there it was. Oh, looks like we got a blockage here. Hold on, let me get this... 20 out of the way. Is this an 80 20 or 80 50? I don't know. I can't check right now. Oh well. Get this guy backed up. There we go. He is now out of the way. Oh, he doesn't finish the rest of it. What's he doing? No! Oh, he's gonna hit us. Oh, uh, he left that little bit. See, that's one of the things I don't like about the plows. Um, at least this plow in particular. I don't know if you guys know another plow, it's a little bit different. But it always messes up and never gets all the edges, which kind of sucks in my opinion. Uh, this guy's going to take forever, though. So we'll just let him get going on his way. And we're going to go hop into our menu, and we're going to go purchase a new tractor. All right. So scroll on down here. We might want to pick up... Oh, we got these new platinum expansion tractors. I think we're going to use these on the other map, though. We're not going to pull them into this one at all. Uh, we might pick up a big bud coming up here soon. Um, comment down below, guys. You guys want to pick up a big bud, or you want me to pick up um, like a challenger or a quad track? Um, that would be the thing. One of these ones right here. I might bring in, or I could use. I could use these ones too. Um, I could use the 9R series. This is probably be way better. We could use the 9R, or the 8R. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want. Uh, and that's what I'll choose if you want one of these bigger John Deere ones. So we got the 6R, 7R, 8R, we got the 8RT, we got the 9R, and we got the uh, the bigger, we got the tracked 9RT. This is, or the 9R. This is the wheeled, double wheeled. This is the uh, tracked version. So let me know what you guys want, and that's what I'll do. But we are going to bring in the 8020 right now, because this is a great, a great tracked. All right, so we're going to do front hydraulic. Um, we're going to have the 8520 set up. And then, I think on the other one, I have the Michelin Big plus RDAs. So I think we'll do Michelin Big RDA. Let's see. Let's do, let's do the Trailborg Tires Abroad. I don't know what that will look like, so that's what I'm doing. I want to see what these look like. And design, it'll be full options. Warning signs, GPS, and everything. Um, lights. Let's just give her all of them. All right. So it's an extra twenty thousand dollars for this guy, but it's worth it. One hundred sixty thousand dollars. One hundred sixty five hundred. All right. That looks good to me. All right. Thank you. This guy's still running. We need to shut him off. Oh, and I also figured out all the maintenance stuff, guys. Sorry, I was being really weird about maintenance. Like in the last video, I couldn't figure it out. I uh, ended up figuring out, I still need to bring this guy over. I might as well just chuck this over since I'm over here, but let's get our 80-20. There it is. All right, so so that's what the Trellborg tires look like. All right, so they're just like a different brand of tire instead of the Michelins, which is okay. I like these ones. They're not too bad. Ooh, I also need to get a, uh, a header transporter to transport that, but I don't think we can transport that one right now. I need to bring over our, uh, what do you call it? I need to bring over our combine and actually transport it out of here with the combine and attach it up because it'll just be a pain in the butt. But, you know, I've never had to do corn yet. Uh, corn ore. I think it's camera for sunflowers. But, yeah, I haven't had to do those yet. So when I do those, is when I'll go back and I'll grab that and I'll bring it over with us. Probably shouldn't have left it out in the snow for this last season, but oh, well. Uh... Let's see, we've got John Deere. This is this looks really good on the inside. It's that nice uh, leather looking interior. And then if you guys didn't know this, I found this out the other day when I was going through. Um, I'm pretty sure we have all this stuff in our farm silo already. So we might take a little bit here in a minute and we might go sell a bunch of this stuff and make a little extra profit. Oh, we also need to sell our milk. I haven't sold any of the milk yet um, that we've had. We've had a few cows die due to our lack of grass. 
and water and everything else because I'm a really, 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 yeah, see? So I got 17 cows, but they have no straw, they have no grass because they ran out. They ran out of everything, which is all on me. All on, It's all my fault. Um, but I'll, I'll do it. I'll fix it in a minute. We'll go over there while those guys are plowing. We'll fix them. We'll fix them up. We'll get them looking good. I just feel really bad about the cows. I think I've had 10 die on me, which, uh, yeah, I should be. I'd be fired instantly. That's like, what was that, 10? That'd be $50,000, $45,000. So I can't remember how much the cows were. The cows were like 4500 bucks, I think. So yeah, 45000 bucks down the drain because I just let them all die. Awful. Absolutely awful. Um, but we're going to go, we'll go fix it really quick. I got to grab our JCB and I got to grab, I think I, I think I have the forks for it. But we're going to take this guy and we're going to go hook it up to our uh, forging wagon. Because that, that thing has some straw in it. So we just need to dump some of the straw out. They don't have, the cows don't have to have the grass, I'm pretty sure. But the grass definitely does help a lot. Uh, it slows down the time at which it takes them to die. Because during winter, at least, it's made a little bit easier. Um, so they don't take nearly as much like uh, damage, I guess. Damage or like fatalities. But, okay, well, this cow's kind of in my way. All right, guys, act like you didn't see this. We're just gonna, just gonna bump through this this, in, this invisible cow. And then we're just gonna back up. And we're just gonna keep backing up. There we go. We'll unload some. All right. And then detach it. So that's pretty much, that's all you guys got to do. That's all I have to do for uh, giving the cows some more uh, some more straw. The water, though, the water's a different case. We got to go over here and we got to grab the, where's our exit? Our exit's right here. We got to go over and we got to grab our Universal Technic Small, which I think we loaded over here in the big shed. And the potato hopper, I guess, is what it's what is in over here. Uh, yeah, right there. All right, so let's back up. Let's grab this. I don't think there's anything left in it. Nope, it's empty. All right, so we're going to go fill up on milk, and we're going to bring all the milk back. Uh, and then we can fill up on water because we don't want to waste um, any of the resources we got. I think we ha we'll have to back this one in, too, because the milk fills up right there on our left. You guys can see that right there. So let's, um, let's back this up. Chugga, 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 chugga. There we go. Refill. Do we have any milk in here is the question. Um, liquid manure, milk. Okay, never mind. I'm going to get some at zero. Oh, well, that, that kind of sucks. All right, let's go fill up with water then. We'll go water them and get them looking good. I wonder how much our milk they can hold. All right, so this costs us quite a bit of money here, so we're gonna stop at about hmm, six thousand or seven thousand, seven thousand. I think we might be able to. There we go, two, seven thousand two hundred. So I think that'll do us good. Let's keep going over here. We also need to get some total mix of rations going this season. Uh, that is definitely the plan. I'll be cutting all this grass area out here um, in my free time when I'm not doing anything. Gonna let us unload. There we go. Ah, oh, there you go, cows. Oh, they're only gonna hold like three and a half thousand, maybe four thousand. All right, there they go. Stop overloading. Why can I not? There we go. I had to pull out of the little UI area. So now we are good on the cows. They will survive a few more days. I'm pretty sure. Um, which is okay. We only need a few more days till we can get some grass going. Let's see. When does grass grow back? Grass grows back. Wrong one. It was A. Controlled A. Is it Controlled F? Nope. Those are lights. Um. Hold on a second. I can't remember what it was. Uh, Alt S. And then back. There we go. So grass starts growing. So grass will start growing really soon here. So basically, the next day, uh, the grass will start growing, which is really good for us. 
because we need to go through and cut a bunch. Um, and right now, since this is the season of planting and cultivating, it's not too big of a deal. We can cut down some grass in our free time while we're waiting. All right, so now, while those guys are almost done cultivating... Oh, wait. So, all right, guys. So, I'm not 100% sure on this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to cultivate this. And I should know this by now because I've played like over 100 and some hours of Farming Simulator. So, I should know this. But... I don't know. I don't know if you cultivate. I can't even remember if you cultivate this or not. If I should cultivate already. Oh, we're getting a little slippery on this. But I feel like you don't need to cultivate. No, you do need to cultivate. What am I saying? Yeah, you definitely need to cultivate this. All right, let's just go. Let's, let's go. Let's get with it. Oh, crap. Wait, am I going to catch that guy? Oh, man. I'm probably going to catch him. I'll wait, though. I'll I'll tab back here in just a second just to see where it's where it's at because I don't want it to I don't want it to hit. All right, start this guy, and now we are gonna go and we're gonna go grab our planter. Planter is over here in this big shed. I placed the shed way back. Uh, make sure we don't drive over any of these eggs here. We're gonna place we're gonna grab this and this is I can't remember this is 7820, 7200. Can't remember which planter this one is. But this is the huge one. All right, so it's on radishes right now. Um, let's check some prices where we want to go. Uh, let's see, so prices. We're gonna be doing the uh, uh, decalb one, or yeah, decalb. Uh, huh, let's see what do we want to sell. Soybeans are really high, and they're in the really low stage right now. Um, whatever these are, aren't, aren't awful, but they're not great. Uh, potatoes are selling for a lot right now. No, those aren't potatoes. What are those? Ooh, what are those? Can't remember what those ones are. I'll have to look it up. They sell for a lot though. All right. So I think first one we're going to go with, huh, let's go with some, let's go with some canola. Let's go with some canola. Never mind. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. I was saying never mind. We can't plant canola, but we can. There we go. Let's avoid these eggs here. All right, and we're just gonna go fill this up. There is a spot to fill up seed around here somewhere. Just gotta find it. I feel like it was over here. Or do I need to take this over? I don't remember now. No, no, we need to go over to Pioneer. That's where we need to go. Oh. Where is he at? Where is he at? There he goes. All right, you, sir, stop. Hold up a minute. Wait for that guy to finish. And then in like 20 minutes, you can come back. Take a break. Take a lunch break. All right, there we go. All right, so we're going to take this over to Pioneer because I'm pretty sure Pioneer is the spot in which we have to fill up our seed because uh, Pioneer is a seed company as most of you probably know crank it crank it there we go all right I should probably shut traffic off let's see it hopefully this guy doesn't turn right sweet he didn't turn right oh he turned right oh no oh no that's bad okay okay my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, so we're gonna go over here to Pioneer, and this is where you fill up the seed right over here. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm pretty sure this is where I filled it up last time. I haven't filled it up for a while, um, but this is where I did do it last time. Do we have any left? Okay, so what is that? That is fertilizer. We don't need fertilizer. Turn this on. Oh, we do need fertilizer. Actually, what am I saying? This is liquid fertilizer. We don't take liquid, we take bagged solid. So we'll whip back around by this guy. I'll take some of this liquid fertilizer. Solid fertilizer, my bad, solid fertilizer. And the worker will refill this for us, so it'll be nice and we won't really ever have to come back and refill it. And here is our seeds right here. Just got a big, uh, just a big shed full of them, I guess. 
Maybe you could fill up right there and take him with you. Yeah, you can fill up right there and take him with you. That'd be nice. I should probably do that um, some other time, though. Oh, man, this thing holds a lot of seed. Almost there. And 100. All right. All right, let's make our way back. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this guy back. We're going to get this guy over by the field. And then I think we're going to leave it at that because we got to wait for all those guys. The other two workers, they're still cracking away. One's on a lunch break. Uh, the other one is still working hard for us. Plowing the field. I couldn't remember what I was going to say. I was like, I can't remember what it was called. But he's plowing the field. We're waiting for him to finish. Um, once he's done, though, uh, that'll be good for us. Then we can get cultivating the rest. Ooh, what the heck is on? We're going to stop. We're going to stop this. We're going to stop. Stop. We're going to halt traffic for a second. I need to see what this is. What is this? Hold on, we need to see this because I haven't done the new crops yet. And there's a lot of new crops. See, there's a couple new fruit types. Um, this is rice. This is rice here. That is really cool, actually. We should we should get a really small field. We should buy a really small field and plant some rice on it too. I did want, really want to do carrots, and I do want to get strawberries going in our greenhouses. Our greenhouses will have water in them, if you guys remember that. Um, they have water in them already. All we need to do is get some manure. We got some manure from the cows from that past winter, so that is good for us. Let's throw on our turn signal here. Actually, no. Let's just keep going straight. We can go across the bridge, and we can go meet up uh, with our other two workers. All right, let's go. That's not that loud of a horn, actually. Dang it. I was hoping that was going to be a really loud truck horn. All right, and we got a curve. A little, well, this is a weird road here. It just like, and then keeps curving. I don't know. Oops, someone took a sign out there. That was not me. I swear, Popo, that was not me. All right, we got geese on the water. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Like, they have like flyovers and everything in this, which is really cool because they find the V formations every once in a while. Um, but we are almost there. Turn left here. And then in the next video, guys, we will be buying that new, two new fields, like I said. I gotta go back to the other video that I asked everybody in to see what field you guys wanted me to purchase. Because there was a specific field. All right, let's, this is probably gonna be a little bit offset anyways. Let's shut the motor off. Don't wanna waste any more maintenance hours. All right, but this thing will span quite a bit. Um, then we still got that huge field over there to get done. Uh, oh, we left our wind row over there through the winter. My bad. Um, this guy is taking forever. I'm probably going to have to leave this thing going. Yeah, probably just going to have to leave that thing going. But let me know, guys, for the new tractors, what do you want me to buy? I'm going to buy the 6R, 7R, 8R, 8RT, 9R tracked or untracked versions. Because we need something big. We need something with a lot of big power in it to run our big bud um plows yeah because we want to get a bigger plow before we really have to get cracking on everything but let me know guys i would greatly appreciate you guys comments and likes and all your guys support in the comments section but anyways i'll see everybody in the next video